Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison of four very popular brands of leggings. I've got the MWL leggings by Madewell, Girlfriend Collective, Everlane, and the famous Lululemon leggings. These are four brands that were highly recommended to me on my Instagram when I asked you guys what kind of leggings I should buy. And these were the four brands that you guys were really pushing me to try. And so now that I have tried all four brands, I wanted to do a quick comparison showing you guys what each pair looks like on, talking about the price, how I like them, all that stuff. To be honest, I had not really ever been into leggings before fall of last year. That was when I got my first pair of Lululemon leggings. It was my first real pair of leggings that cost more than like $15. All of the leggings I had gotten previously to that I had gotten at Goodwill secondhand so they were stretched out and they were in really rough condition but I just had never really felt like I could spend a lot of money on activewear but my mind shift kind of changed when I started to really prioritize my health and my fitness and so last year was the first time ever that I really started to get into running and I really wanted a nice pair of leggings so I took the plunge and got a pair of Lululemon leggings and then since then I have just fallen in love with really nice leggings and so I've been wanting to get my hands on a bunch of different brands so that I could kind of try out different styles and see how I like them and know what to move forward with when purchasing more leggings. We're gonna go ahead and start with the first pair right here. These are the Everlane Perform Pocket Leggings. These ones are $58 and they range from sizes extra extra small to extra extra large. I got these in my normal size. I would say these run true to size. I got them in an extra small. These ones are amazing because they have a pocket. I will say though that the pocket is like, it's a pretty decent sized pocket. You can actually fit your entire phone in the pocket. The Lululemon ones and the Girlfriend Collect pocket leggings the pockets on those are actually not very large you can fit you know like a couple credit cards maybe a key but as far as your phone you're gonna start stretching out the fabric with these the pocket is actually it's actually built for like a phone so it is a larger pocket which I love $58 for these leggings feels like a really good price I will say that these ones though are a thinner material than the girlfriend collective ones and then they also are a thinner material than the lululemon ones. so these ones are a little bit thinner of a material so I would be a little bit weary of getting the lighter colors in these leggings however they are super high-waisted really really flattering they are not crazy form-fitting because they're a thinner material but they also do not have different options in the inseam these are a 25 inch inseam and they actually work pretty okay on me being five foot two but if you are wanting different inseams I would say go lululemon or go with the girlfriend collective ones because I think those ones have shorter options. So these ones, $58, I would say are an incredible price. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these ones on. These ones arrived pretty on time, I would say. So no real like shipping delays here, but the Girlfriend Collective ones I will talk about next. And those ones I had just the worst time shipping those. So these are the Everlane leggings and they are the perfect length on me. I really like where they hit on my ankles. These are the 25 inch inseam and they do not offer other inseams but it ends up working out perfectly for me being five foot two. As you can see, they've got just very large pockets where you can put a phone right in there so you can wear them throughout the day and have pockets which is super nice. I really like working out in these ones because they are super high-waisted. You can see they have this big band of support in the back and then they also have this larger band in the front. So they are just super, super comfortable, really, really flattering on. And I've actually got them paired with my favorite workout bra. This is from Free People. These are the Free People movement bras. And this is typically what I will run in in the summer. Okay, next up are the Girlfriend Collective High Rise Pocket Leggings. These are $78. They are available in 10 different colors, which is a lot. And then they also are a little bit thicker than the Everlane Leggings. These ones are super high rise, which I love. I think these are super form fitting, really flattering on. I love how thick they are. They have a very small pocket though, so you can't really like fit your phone in it without stretching out the material. So keep that in mind. I have the, what are we on, 11 or 12, the smaller one, but I don't have the max. So that one would definitely not fit in these pocket leggings. The website right now is down, so I can't even really pull up 
the different sizes and different colors. I really like these leggings, but I will say the sizing of Girlfriend Collective confuses the heck out of me. I ordered these in an extra extra small originally because I bought a pair of running shorts from Girlfriend Collective first and those ones ran way too big and I should have sized down. These ones did not run big at all. So when I had ordered these in an extra extra small, I couldn't even get them like over my hips. So I would say the leggings run true to size. The shorts I would say probably size down and that alone is very confusing when trying to repurchase things from a brand if it's not the same consistent sizing. I don't really know like what to order and plus it took over a month for these to come in the mail and so by the time you get them in and you need to replace the sizing it's like two months later and you finally have your piece that you ordered so keep that in mind these are honestly amazing like once you have them and they're the right size I really really love them it just it's like the ordering process and then the shipping and then the sizing all that stuff can like really deter you from wanting to spend a lot of money on a brand but now that I have them I really like them I know my size and I can say confidently that they do run true to size. They are super high-waisted. The nice thing about the Girlfriend Collective leggings are that there are 10 colors, so you can have you know any color you want. I really like black or green, typically. They have a 28 and a half inseam, and they also have a 24 inch inseam, which is great because I'm five foot two, I need a shorter inseam. So I think these are an absolute perfect length for someone five foot two. If you are taller than five foot two though, they're gonna go more like mid-calf. These kind of hit my ankle a little bit above my ankle. I would say the 25 inch inseam from Everlane are actually perfect for me being five foot two, but these ones are really not that far off. They're just like one inch shorter. These ones range from an extra extra small to a six XL. So they are very size inclusive, which is awesome. So Girlfriend Collective is doing a lot of really amazing stuff. I just think that the shipping took forever and that is just kind of annoying to me, but that's really my only complaint. I do wish that the pockets were a little bit bigger, but these are honestly amazing for running and working out because they are a more like compressive thicker material you feel really held in there and I just think these ones these ones are really great I really do love the actual like legging itself just the shipping for me which was a big miss but these are the girlfriend collective ones and as you can see just like the Everlane ones they have a pretty large band in the back so they are super super high-waisted really supportive all around i love the thicker fabric of these leggings versus the everlane ones the only thing is that the pocket is a lot smaller so I really like, you really can't get a phone in these pockets. I really like that they offer different length options. These are the shorter option and they work really well for me being five foot two. These are so great for working out because they almost have a tighter waistband than the Everlane ones. I think maybe because they're a thicker material, they just fit a lot more, I don't know, a lot more like secure. So when you're running or you're doing any type of high impact workout, these ones do not fall down which is the best thing ever. So the Everlane ones are a little bit looser around the waist. These ones are a little bit more fitted, a little bit more, a little bit more secure. So I really like the way that these kind of perform while working out. I think these are great for lounging as well, but these are honestly just really great workout leggings. Okay, next up is the MWL legging from Madewell. These ones are really great. The only thing about these is that they do not have inseam options. I think these are a 28 inch inseam, which is really long for someone who's five foot two. So if you are on the shorter side, these are gonna be long for you. I typically just tuck them up like under and just rock them, but if you are wanting a pair of leggings that fit you properly, I would suggest doing Girlfriend Collective or Lululemon. These ones are $65, so they kind of sit right between the Everlane and the Girlfriend Collective legging. These ones are a thicker legging. These are thick like the Girlfriend Collective legging. However, there are no pockets. So you win some, you lose some. There's a pocket in the back actually for a key, but there's no side pocket. So no pocket for a phone, which is kind of a bummer. And they also don't offer a length option. However, they're thicker than the Everlane ones. So I think they make up for it in that. I really like the thickness of these and I really love this green color. They also come in black as well, but this green just really stuck out to me. When I first got them, they had these weird lines from being shipped, but once I put them in the wash and I like dried them, they ended up being fine. I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, don't dry your leggings, but I, I did, so. Sorry. Other than that, they are high-waisted, super comfortable on, and I just really, really like the thickness of these. So I got these in an extra small, which is 
true to size. So these are the MWL leggings and I really love the color of these. They are super comfortable, super high-waisted. They fit really, really well. The only thing is that you can see that the inseam is really long on me. I think these are 28 inch inseam. So typically what I have to do is fold them under, which can get, you know, kind of annoying, but it works and this is typically what I'll do with leggings that are a bit longer. I feel like I could get them altered, but it's just easier to tuck them under. So this is how I would wear them. The only thing with any type of colored legging, whether it's Madewell or Lululemon or Girlfriend Collective, is that colored leggings just show everything. That's typically why I stick to black leggings because they're just way more flattering. But I really liked the color of these. I feel like they really are fine, but they're just really, really comfy, really cute. I love how thick they are. They are a great thickness, great material. I just wish they had pockets. And the last pair are my Lululemon leggings. These are the Time to Sweat 23 inch cropped leggings. These ones I would say are really good if you are five foot two or shorter. If you're taller than that, you're gonna probably want a little bit longer of an inseam. But the best part about Lululemon is that they have tons and tons of styles of leggings. They are literally known for their leggings and so they have a bunch of different options for high waistedness or inseam length so you can really get a pair of leggings that are like almost custom fit to your body they also do alterations i've heard for free so that's really cool as well these ones have a pocket in the back for a key they also have pockets on the side again they are smaller pockets you can fit a credit card but you can't really fit a phone all that well same size pocket as the girlfriend collective leggings kind of just like for credit cards i've had these the longest and i truly love these leggings i feel so good whenever i wear these leggings they are the perfect shade of green to me i really love working out in these i love running in these the best part is too is they have this drawstring if you really want to tighten them up while while you're running and working out so they don't fall. I got these in a size two, I believe, and I think that these fit really well. I honestly might size down in the next pair that I get, but these actually work super well. My favorite part about the Lululemon ones though are how flattering they are, and they are just an amazing material. They're super, super thick and nice material, and you just feel like you're gonna be able to wear these forever. I have had no problems with them since I've gotten them, and I wear them literally all the time. They are amazing, and I just think they're so, so flattering on. So I will put these ones on. These ones are, I believe, $98, which are the lower price for Lululemon leggings. Sometimes they get up to like 120, I think 140 even, but these were $98, and I would highly recommend ordering from Lululemon. They came in within like five days, I think I got them, and I just really, really love these, and I wear them all the time. So these ones are probably like my go-to ones, these ones, and then the Girlfriend Collective ones. Those ones I love as well. These are the Lululemon leggings, and they aren't quite as high as the Girlfriend Collective or the Everland ones, but it's really nice that they do have this drawstring, so you can pull them in and they'll sit right above your hips for working out. These are probably the most functional leggings as far as like actually working out in and running. They have a pocket, which can actually kind of fit the phone, but not really all the way. So that's something to keep in mind. These ones are so flattering on though. This green is way more forgiving than the Madewell green leggings. These are like the perfect green legging. And I'm just obsessed with my Lululemon leggings. I think they are so flattering on. They are so comfortable and they are just an amazing quality piece to have. These are the 23 inch inseam and I think they work super well with being five foot two. And I just love these. I think these are probably still my favorite which I'm glad they are because they were the most expensive of course but these are just such a good investment I have really never met a person who just hasn't loved their Lululemon leggings for a really long time so it was definitely like a splurge to get these for $98 but I do not regret it whatsoever. I absolutely love these and I actually don't dry these ones. I do wash them, but I don't put them in the dryer. 
and I feel like they will just last forever. I really, really love this color and I'm super excited to get another pair of Lululemon leggings because I wanna get some that are a 25 inch inseam and just try out a few more pairs from them knowing that I love the material, I love the fit. So really, really happy with these. I feel like you seriously cannot go wrong with a pair of Lululemon leggings. I know that's like really basic of me to say, but I just love them and I really do feel really happy with my purchase of these leggings. But I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video and seeing all of the leggings on. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have tried any of these brands out or if there are any that you are interested in. If you're new to my channel and you wanna stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye, y'all.